हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो वेलकम यू ऑल इन द टॉपिक ऑफ सर्कल और टेंजेंट टू ए सर्कल फॉर क्लास टेन सो लेट अस कंसंट्रेट टूवर्ड्स द कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू टेंजेंट टू ए सर्कल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लर्न व्हाट do we mean by the term tangent to a circle actually in geometry a line or ray or a line segment which touches a circle at one point only then it is called a tangent to the circle and that point where it touches the circle is called point of contact and this point of contact is a common point for both circle as well as for the tangent that is of the line or ray or line segment which is drawn which is touching the circle at that point as you may see in this figure here line ab is touching the circle at one point only and that point is p so line ab is a tangent for this circle and the point p is known as point of contact which is a common point for circle and line both now in one definition more we have here just only we will see the definition that what is a second to a circle so <clears throat> let us see uh, the definition of second to a circle a line or a ray or a line segment which cuts a circle at two distinct point then such line or ray or line segment is called second to the circle as here in this figure of first where one line ab is cutting the circle at two distinct point p and q so line ab is here the second of this circle similarly you may see in the second figure where a line segment ab is cutting the circle at one point p clearly and passing through it and then it touches the circle at another point b here the line segment cuts clearly at one point and touches at the other point to the circle even then it is considered as second to the circle so here line segment ab or apb is called second to the circle so this may create one doubt to students that touching the circle is considered here as cutting the circle then it may happen that in figure 3 where a line segment ab is just touching the circle at two points a and b so may we consider this touching point as cutting point here then ab will be called as second no here in this figure it is not considered as second rather it is a chord because we have already read that a line segment joining two points of circle is called a chord so it is chord not the second okay student now again we concentrate the details uh, as per our syllabus we have to make our study regarding tangent to the circle only so <clears throat> let us come to uh, concentrate again the tangent to circle where uh, we will uh, see what theorems related to tangent to a circle r first theorem that is rule first is 
इन ए सर्कल द रेडियस थ्रो पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट एंड टेंजेंट आर परपेंडिकुलर टू इच अदर हियर वन वी मे सी दिस फिगर दैट इन दिस फिगर लाइन ए बी इज टचिंग द सर्कल एट वन पॉइंट पी so p is the point of contact now if we join this p with center o then op is the radius through point of contact so this rule says that this op will be perpendicular to ab or ab will be perpendicular to op since when a line is perpendicular to other the other is also perpendicular so we may say better that in a circle the radius through point of contact and tangent are perpendicular to each other so uh, angle opa is equal to angle opb and both equal to each 90 degree that is op is perpendicular to the tangent ab so this is first theorem <clears throat> now we will see the one more important result related to tangent and this result is uh, here you see that uh, for this uh, circle for this circle p is an external point outside the circle from this point p if we want to draw tangent to the circle then maximum we can draw only two tangents first as you are observing here the first tangent is pq drawn and the second tangent that is pr at point q and r respectively so first part of this rule this theorem is that in a circle from an external point we can draw maximum two tangents whose lengths are equal that is uh, length of tangent means the distance between the point from which tangent is drawn to the point where it touches the circle so length of tangents these two tangents are equal that is pq equal to pr this is very important result related to tangents so once again we will state this rule or this theorem that in a circle from an external point maximum two tangents can be drawn whose lengths are equal now is this can be proved easily you see what is given here uh, for a circle an external point p is there from which two tangents pq and pr are drawn we have to prove that pq equal to pr for this we will construct we join op we join oq and or also op then we will have two triangles that is uh, oqp and orp so let us take these two triangles and try to make them congruent by any suitable conditions here so in triangle poq and por oq equal to or red eye being red eye since uh, red eye of circle are equal another is uh, angle oqp is equal to angle orp each 90 degree as we have seen in rule first that radius through point of contact are tangent and tangent are perpendicular so these two angles are 90 degree and op equal to op which is common side so here one condition comes uh, that is R H S right angle hypotenuse and side condition by this condition triangle O Q P congruent to O R P therefore by C P C T we can say P Q equal to P R 
hence it proves that length of two tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal now uh, from these two congruent triangle we may have one more result by specificity that angle opq is equal to angle opr uh, here so these angles are called uh, angle of inclination so angle of inclination of two tangents drawn are also equal so we may restate this uh, rule that from an external point uh, to a circle maximum two tangents can be drawn whose whose angle of inclination are also equal in addition to length of tangent as they are also equal so here this very important concept related to tangent is now we will see our exercise where one exercise is completely given as the true false or fill in the blanks or very short questions which will you will solve 100% on the basis of this discussion and the second exercise which is deduction based exercise where many important very important questions for examinations are given to prove which we call in geometry deduction problem so uh, uh, you will try on this basis uh, hope that uh, maximum question can be solved and uh, remaining question we will again share uh, in the upcoming next video uh, okay students so thanks for watching my video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe till then goodbye so we will meet again in the next video.